for Sambo. Now, whether that's going to be built at Wat Phnom or someplace else, uh, that's, you know, we're in discussions with him about where it will be. But now that discussions are started, there mm -hmm. will be some place that will be designated as her permanent home. Now, there are some critics who say that Sambo does not belong in the city of Phnom Penh, but actually out in the country. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you agree on that? Some people uh, do believe that, and I respect that opinion. Um, and it, it was wonderful. We've had two um, people that just came into Sambo's life. Thank goodness, you know, I, I've started a Facebook page for mm -hmm. Sambo, and we spell the name Sambo now S O M B O, oh. not S A, S O M B O. So Sambo, um, two people, one um, is a man from Australia, mm -hmm. and his father recently died and loved elephants mm -hmm. and had been to Cambodia and also loved Sambo. And so he um, pledged for one year to donate money for Sambo's food. So she never has to worry about being hungry, at least oh, for the next great. year. Mm -hmm. What does Sambo like to eat? Well, she loves bananas. Oh, really? You know? but yellow she ones, green ones? Yellow bananas. Oh. She gets a lot of um, uh, her roughage and like a hay from yeah. the stalks of the sugar cane. Yeah. Um, she loves carrots <gasps> and uh, wow. lots of vegetables and fruits, but she definitely has acquired a sweet tooth. Like what? Ice cream? Well, okay. no, I mean oh. like the fruits are oh, sweet. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, does Sambo eat human food sometimes? Um, not, not no. really. I mean, okay. Like fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. and hay. And yeah. um, now Sambo is working every day, right? Giving rights. Well, well since Soren's very um, protective of her health, and if he feels that she's feeling um, not up to par, that uh, she's a little tired, uh, he just won't have her go that day. And if she's um, tired while she's at Wat Phnom, mm -hmm. he'll have her finish early and go home early. Now, Sambo just celebrated her birthday, her 51st birthday, and you were one of the honored guests. Ah, thank you. Tell well, us about I'm that birthday party. Yeah, there was a birthday party at Wat Phnom. We had several guests from around the world that came, and a lot of local people, too. And um, the monks were there to do blessings, and there was a big birthday cake. And uh, so Sambo did Okay, the a big really birthday cake. Job. Did Sambo eat the cake, or is it for the guests? Actually, Sambo got to eat some of it, too. Okay, so Sambo's eating human food. Yeah, but just on occasion, <laughs> like once a year. Okay, okay. I mean, we all eat something, oh, yeah. you know. Was the cake good? Yes, because they saved some for everybody, too. So oh, I got to have a little wonderful. bit. That's wonderful. It was yummy. Now, what gifts did Sambo get? Like, what do you give an elephant on her birthday? Um... I'd, uh, I mean, it, there was the gift of a food for a year, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that was pretty big. Lots of bananas. You know, yeah, lots of bananas. A lot of people brought bananas, and um, someone brought a couple of papayas. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Is Sambo lonely? Well, Sambo has never been married, uh, so she has never had any children. And uh, and now she's, she's kind of past the age to yeah. be able to have the children. And she's um, okay? Yeah, yeah, you know, because if you see Sin Sorn and Sambo together, mm -hmm. they have a bond. So Sin Sorn's like the husband and Sambo's the wife? No. Oh, oh I don't know. I like a brother oh, and sister okay. or something. <laughs> Explain. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've only met Sin Sorn one time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's sweet Well, we just, the other person that came into Sambo's life recently yeah. um, is a man from Sweden, and he's an elephant expert. He has trained about 70 elephants. He works with zoos, international zoos. He's mm -hmm. been in Africa. He's been in India. He said, and I, it was so wonderful, and he's going to write up some notes for me uh, so that I can give them to the governor, and that is um, about that Sambo's care is some of the best that he has ever seen. Oh. And he says when he goes um, to some, I, I believe it was India that he mentioned, where, uh, and they've got elephants in temples with a chain, and they're standing on that temple 24-7. They don't go anywhere. Oh. And Sambo, yeah. she's got she's, exercise. Yeah. She's got um, it, you know, interaction with people that she mm -hmm. loves. Uh, she's got... The, the area where she's sleeping right now, he was actually very impressed and uh, that, that it's a very healthy place for her to be staying. She is not chained overnight. Oh, that's good. You know, so she's able to roam freely. Um, yeah, there was just, and her, and her health in general was very good, you know. Um, he could tell that, like, when she walks slowly, it's because of the, um, 
you know, the past injuries. Mm -hmm. So she's kind of maybe got some arthritis or rheumatoid, mm -hmm. rheumatoid yeah, arthritis rheumatoid. stuff, rheumatism, yeah. you know. Um, and also the medicine, some people have been concerned about the purple medicine, blue purple medicine on her feet. And yeah. it's like, well, why does she need that? And her skin's cracking. It's so simple. It's wonderful. I mean, it's wonderful news that it's only because her, her nails, her toenails, like fingernails, oh. toenails are too long. So the weight of her body pushes down on the nails, which pushes them up into the skin and cracks oh. the skin. So he taught Sinsorn how to file the, the, the nails oh, down. Oh, so they have to know. get their nails cut too. Yeah, because Sinsorn's from a family yeah. of elephant trainers. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and But when they were in Kampong Spew, mm -hmm. and um, even in you know, Anger Wad or whatever, yeah. they were on the dirt in the oh. ground, and they didn't have paved streets like we have today. He was also very impressed with Sambo's shoes. Okay, I haven't... S I, okay, I just saw Sambo walking barefoot. Sambo has shoes? On her two front uh, oh. feet, um, he's got some... Uh, uh, Sinsorn made some shoes to protect <gasps> the pads of her feet. You and uh, he was very impressed. He made me take pictures of the... Please email me these pictures of these shoes. Uh, he was just very impressed with them. So what so size shoes does Sambo wear? Elephant size. Tom Tom. <laughs> <laughs> tom Tom. <laughs> Okay, that is funny. Now, besides uh, taking care of Sambo, uh, are there fruit bats? What are fruit bats? Oh, you guys, um, you know the trung, yes? The, in, in English, we call trung the flying foxes. Oh. And they're endangered in most places in the world. And right near where Sambo is at Wat Phnom, there's a big tree that yeah. grows within the walls of the CDC, Center for, or Council for yeah. uh, Development, you know, Cambodia Development Council or whatever that one is, CDC. And, uh, and there's a huge tree that's full of these bats. And these bats, they're not vampire bats. They don't eat, you know, blood of people or anything they eat fruit mm -hmm. and um, in fact it's very amazing that they do not fly uh, uh, and catch their food by sonar like uh, the smaller bats uh, these bats they do fly at night but they've got like night vision if you've ever mm -hmm. seen like night vision goggles and things mm -hmm. their eyes are like that so they can actually look for the food at night that uh, that they want to eat very interesting yeah. Okay, listeners, if you want to call and ask a question for Ms. Miriam Arthur, the number to call is 070-234-070 or 016-900-630 or 012-966-119. You can email your questions or comments to radio at puc.edu.kh. Callers, when you do call in, just... Identify your name and location of where you're calling. Address questions or comments only related to the scope of today's topics. Avoid political talk. Avoid arrogant or harsh words on the show. Do not criticize others. And PUC is not responsible for the contents of the guest or caller's statement. Mary, um, I want you. To, I want to talk about another uh, important. Um, charity work that you've done. I guess you're supporting uh, artists, Cambodian artists? Um, yeah, like um, a close friend of mine is uh, the artist Lang Sakon. Mm -hmm. and, uh, oh, oh mm -hmm. great. Guest speaker on February 21st. <gasps> Wonderful. Oh, you're going to have a great time with him. He's a, an yeah. amazing man. Um, he is so sensitive. Yeah. And his um, artwork just uh, has so many layers, both physically and spiritually. Um, and so I always try to be very supportive of mm -hmm. him and um, other artists like that. It's mm -hmm. great. You said uh, spiritually. Are you a spiritual person? Um, yes, yes. Okay. Um, my uh, roots as far as the churches that I've been to mm -hmm. have been Christian, Catholic, mm -hmm. and Baptist, and uh, various forms of Christian. But um, now I just call myself spiritual. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I, I believe that there is God. Um, I think that all of our attempts as man to uh, define God and, you know, they're just like sand. You know, it's, it's so tiny and, uh, and so much bigger than we can ever understand. Uh, but of course we can 
we can live our lives according to things, uh, you know, spiritual laws that I think are true, whether you're Buddhist or Christian or, mm -hmm. you know, LDS, as we were talking mm -hmm. about before. Latter-day um, Saint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or Mormon, if you want to say Mormon. No, I'm not saying Mormon yeah, anymore. Yeah. You told me LDS. <laughs> So anybody I meet, yeah. I'm going to say LDS. Okay. <laughs> you know, and uh, uh, many, many, many mm. different religions. I mean, th really, it's about how we live our life. Mm -hmm. And um, and there is something that we can't see, mm. you know, and being in tune. Just like when you tune in your radio station mm -hmm. to 90.0 FM to listen mm -hmm. to PUC radio talk show with, uh, yeah. with Soma, mm -hmm. your host. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't you love that line? I and love if I change, that line. wait, if I change it, people are going to get confused. <laughs> you can't it's say, and your host Soma. <laughs> I love and then that. if you're in the car, it's ninety point one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so spiritually, we can tune in our lives uh, to the spiritual frequency. This, you know, yeah. and uh, and and we'll feel it, and you know it when it's right. Yeah, I want to get back to your singing. Um, have you recorded any CDs? Uh, well, actually, um, I here living in Cambodia, I did uh, record one of my songs. I, I have written several songs. Mm -hmm. I've performed them over the years, uh, usually live with my guitar. Uh, but recently I had an opportunity.